AutoCAD open, we're going to do a circuit breaker replacement. We're going to remove all the items of that circuit breaker that we want to change out. With that removed, then we'll clean up the drawing to what we're going to add in later. Okay, with now with that edited file, we can open that up in, in Inventor. With Inventor, we're going to, we already have our model our circuit breaker replacement. This is the items we're going to replace with. And we're going to bring them into this DWG that is inside of Inventor. So using Inventor, we're going to select the proper scale and place the view appropriately. Now we can look at the lineup. We can zoom in on here. And there's some tools that we have with SDS to help line this up. And you'll see as, as we line it up, standards change over time and the uh, possible of AutoCAD blocks that were used in the past may not be perfect with what is being used at the time of this changeover. So we're lining it up with the SBS tools. And you can see there's a dimension issue here now. If you look at the inventor dimension, we use the proper size beam that's called up for in by the engineering. If we look at the size of the beam that was used in the original drawing, it's not the actual size. And this happens often, especially with older drawings, but even still with the newer ones, it can happen because they're not using the right dimensional size of beams in the AutoCAD. And the inventor is going to use that proper beam. So you can see the difference there. We have 2.6 inches difference. So rather than trying to make it fit in, and it's going to not fit in with height possibly and may not fit in with some of the other dimensions, we're going to delete that view. And we're going to put a reference in there. We're going to say reference another drawing. With that reference in there, we can revise this drawing and save it. Now we have the inventor drawing, and with that inventor drawing, we can create our views and any details we need to reference the original drawing that we just revised. This can include engineering notes, fit-up notes, and auxiliary views as well.